We're here in the Kryan region of North Kalimantan, a vast rainforest dotted with isolated villages, home to the Dayak people. We're traveling around the world to help tell the story of Mission Aviation Fellowship, a Christian nonprofit organization that flies small airplanes into some of the most remote places on Earth. In the jungles of Borneo, a short flight can save hours or days of difficult hiking when time matters the most. We wanted to experience firsthand just what it would be like to travel from one village to another without MAF. We hired a local guide to take us through the jungle from Long Bawan to Binawang, a trip that would only take 12 minutes by plane, but for us would take five days and three modes of transportation. We'd visit small villages along the way, camp in the jungle, and get a taste of the local Dayak culture. We weren't quite sure what to expect, but we knew we were in for an adventure. Alright, it's uh, Saturday Saturday afternoon, we're uh, just getting our bikes ready to go. It's about an hour to Papati, where we're going to be spending the night tonight, so we're ready to go. Have a good time. Have a good time. Yeah. 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 Ah. Riding on the motorbikes was fun for about 10 minutes and then the road got really narrow and we were sliding all over the place. There were big ruts in the road and we were going up hills and down hills. It started to get dark and we only had one headlamp between the two bikes and <laughs> we were sure at that point we were gonna slide right off and break our legs. <laughs> but then we made it into Pop Body, safe and sound. Good night, Kelly. Day two, we are here in Pot Potty. It's just beautiful. There's rice paddies and farmers out with their water buffalo. We went to church this morning and got to stay in a homestay with a local family. We got to see them cooking in a traditional way. They actually build fires right inside their homes. It's been really cool to get a chance to see some diet culture. We got all packed up for our trek. We met our guide, Jones, and Junie, our porter, and I think we're gonna have a really fun time with these guys. They seem really cool. We're ready. Yeah. All right, we're starting off. This is day three, sort of, of our trek. Day one of actual walking. We'll see. By the end of the trek, maybe we will have been wishing we would have just taken that 12 minute flight. <laughs> Jones and Junie kept finding all kinds of awesome jungle food along the trail for us to try. They said that the jungle is their grocery store, if you know where to look. We ended up getting into camp about five minutes before it started pouring rain. Jones and Junie got everything set up and went out to find some food for dinner. Jones got a frog that we cooked up, so we had frog legs. So it was a real jungle feast. Good morning. It is day four. Best way to keep out the leeches is to tuck our pants into these tall soccer socks, and we got these awesome $3 Indonesian rubber cleats that everybody wears out here in the jungle. We're ready to go. We just got some sago palm. This is like the very, very middle of a big branch that they cut down. And this is what's in the middle, just the core. And it's, uh, it's pretty good. It's nice and juicy. There's been a lot more leeches today. I think I got a real good one down here. I'm not sure how. Somehow we got into my pants. Oh, I feel them in there. Oh yeah! Ew! Oh, that's all my blood. My legs are shaking so bad going over that bridge. I'm so scared. 
right after we crossed the bridge, our guides just picked a spot in the jungle and they put up a perfect tarp for themselves and we made this crazy mess of vines and <laughs> somehow got our hammock set up. Good job, guys. Nice work. We would be in trouble out here without you. So day five, uh, we slept great up in our hammocks. Um, mm -hmm. Nothing bothered us. However, in the other camp here, there was an infestation of very large ants. Maybe one thousand, 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 maybe. Thousands of ants thousands. crawling over our guide and our porter last night while they were sleeping. Many, many ants. Black. Today we have maybe two or three hours to hike until we get to Longpari. That's what uh, what John says. So let's go. Let's go. Today ended up being the most strenuous day of hiking yet. Uh, we lost the trail and we're hacking through the bush and lots more leeches. It was not two or three hours. <laughs> we were so tired and when we finally came out of the jungle and saw Longpati, we were so excited. <laughs> we made it. Six. Last day. Last day. We today have taken one canoe, then we had to portage around some rapids, and now we are waiting for the second set of canoes. Assuming all goes well, we'll get on the plane and we'll fly home. So after waiting here for a couple hours, the boat from Binoam did not show up. We're not sure when the plane is coming, maybe two or three or... We don't know. Hopefully we don't miss it. We just met this guy who has a tiny little canoe with a motor attached to it. He offered to take us to Binawang. There's no cell phone coverage here. Our sat phone is broken. We're supposed to have been in Binawang already to radio the plane. Uh, we really don't want to miss our plane, so I think we just got to go with him. Hope we don't tip over. Hi, right, Kelly. Say what just happened. <laughs> we just went on this scariest boat ride ever. <laughs> I was so scared. <laughs> we were so scared we, we couldn't even move to turn the camera on to record any of it. There was like, you move a tiny bit this way and the water. A tiny bit this way, we were just like this. It was so scary. <laughs> we're here, so. We didn't fall, cameras didn't fall in the water. This is almost the end of our jungle trek. Almost. Whew. I think I prayed more on that <laughs> boat ride than I have in the past month. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. High five. Yeah, all right. Hallelujah, the plane came. There you go, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're ready. ready. We're ready. Eh, we had a good time. Really, really good. Yeah. Really, really good. Go for it. Okay. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> I said I would kiss the kiss the tire when the plane landed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my 
Papa Yankee, it's from Malinao to Tadagan, climbing to 5,500. Estimated arrival 0730. From the town of Long Bawan to the village of Binawang, they can take days of hiking through the jungle, but um, you don't really need to do that, and uh, people really don't anymore because uh, there's MAF. It's just a quick 12 minute flight. It makes me feel really good, actually. Like I've helped them a lot in a tangible way. Just saving them this arduous trek really helps people out. This trip was a really fun adventure for us, but for somebody who is sick or injured or just needs to get somewhere quickly, it would be an extremely difficult journey. To put this all in perspective, if we had taken off from Long Bowen at the very beginning of this video, we'd be just about ready to land in Pinawang right now. No terrifying boat rides, no muddy roads, and no leeches. We're glad we took the long way around this time, but it's good to know that MAF is here for those who need help the most.